Climate affects everything from where we live to how we live. For generations, we've been able to adapt to the climate because it's remained relatively unchanged. We developed agriculture, built cities, grew civilizations and grew industries because we knew what the climate was and what it would be. That progress brought us to the Industrial Revolution. As with anything, our progress was not without a byproduct. Pollution. Progress was changing the lives of humanity for the better, but pollution was beginning to change the climate. As early as the 1850s, our world started to experience warming linked to climate change, and in the 20th century, there were noticeable changes happening across the globe, from South Africa to the North Pole. Today, sea levels are rising, ecosystems are collapsing, species are going extinct, and natural disasters are increasing in severity and frequency. People are having to leave their homes as a consequence. Human relocation might seem like the solution, even for the short term. However, global climate change affects everything, everywhere. What about organisms such as trees that are unable to move like a human or animal? Well, trees do move. Their seeds are often transported by wind, water and other organisms. But because they are long-lived and grow so slowly, that movement is almost glacial. They are under greater threat from climate change than we realize. Plants, like us, prefer a certain range of climate. Climate change is messing with that range, and because trees can't migrate quickly, they're unable to escape it, and that'll place some tree species under stress. Yes, trees do stress, like we do. When conditions are unfavorable for us, we generally find that we become sick. The same happens with trees. Plant health is crucial to the health of all life on Earth. A lot of research has been done in the field of plant pathology to limit the losses caused by plant pests and pathogens, such as fall armyworm, polyphagous shot hole borer, sudden oak death, or late blight of potato. When conditions are warmer, insects and disease-causing organisms such as fungi, viruses and bacteria are likely to spread more easily because they can reproduce more frequently, which means there'll be more of them at the end of each season. To make matters worse, with more and more trees becoming stressed, we are starting to see a number of opportunistic infections and infestations by organisms that were considered minor. Opportunistic pests and pathogens don't cause disease in healthy trees, but as soon as a tree is stressed, they can start causing disease. Sure, the tree can recover when conditions such as rain return to normal. However, we're seeing that droughts are becoming more common and longer, which means that trees are unlikely to recover. If we cannot stop or slow the rate at which we are changing our climate, we'll find quite quickly a world without some of the tree species we enjoy. For industries that rely on plants such as forestry, the fruit growers and tourism, climate change is very real. Losses due to climate change will impact jobs, GDP, human health and biodiversity. One way to stop the effects of climate change is to plant more trees. Also, it would help to stop or slow the rates at which our natural forests are disappearing. Plant trees from your country. In South Africa, there are many species to choose from that could fit the changing climate in your area. Also, educate people about the importance of trees and their importance for our future. Trees need to be cared for so that they can continue to help us to beat climate change.